I was fucking muted. We're not going to talk about that, but you know what? It's going to be a funny intro. Uh, I wonder how many people were here immediately to see that. Hopefully only like a Lauren. And he's he's an understanding forgiving dude, so he won't he won't flame me too hard. Uh, I hope. Goodness gracious. It is just a Lauren. Hey, how's it going? We speak about this to no one. Okay, this is our little secret. We're not going to talk about it. Okay, a Lauren. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Never happened. Was never muted. Unfortunately, you can just rewind the stream about 15 seconds and you can see it, but... <laughs> oh, you sent me the deck? Wait, when did, where did you send it to me? Wait, where did you send it? Wait, 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 wait. I'm looking at my Discord right now. I don't see it anywhere. I don't I don't see it. Did you did you send it in the in the discord? Oh not discord Was it an email Hold on because I don't check my email that often it's it's a problem I know I also accidentally sound out signed out of my email, which was so stupid the button to like switch accounts is right next to the button to- what do you mean wrong password? Are you trolling? What do you mean you have to make sure that it's me? It's me! What? Can't contact you on Discord anymore. What? Oh! It's because I got rid of the server! On a, well, not on accident. I got rid of it on purpose. Hold on. I'll send you a friend quest. I didn't mean to unfriend you. It's, um... I got rid of my Hearthstone server, but we weren't actually friends. That's my bad. I also couldn't send you a message. That was weird. Oh, no. Well, I sent you... Oh, God. I sent, I sent you a friend request on Discord. I apologize. Uh, because I got rid of my Hearthstone channel, it said we no longer share a channel anymore. Oh, man. Is it still working after Nerf's the Paladin deck? Ah! <laughs> no, not really. Celeste versus Hatches! All right. So, I don't really know what to keep here. I would assume actually keeping this early game is not that good. Yeah, it's only kept a couple of times. We want to look for much better cards, mostly Primordial Glyph. I would say that's probably the best card we're looking for overall. Stargazing is also pretty good because it can activate the thing twice. See, this card says it's a high winner when kept. But it's only kept about... 50% of the time, which is actually pretty good, but it's not as high. Send it on Discord. All right, I will take a look at that. Uh, we're not going to play anything right now. I don't really want to play this because I want to play this on a turn where I could also play the Primordial Glyph. Because it has to give me Primordial Glyph, right? How different is this? They took out... Oh, they put in a Rewind, which is very interesting. Let's just freeze their face just to get the thing going. We can excavate once. It's not really that big of a deal, but it's something. And they run ETC the Torin. They run Stargazer Luna. This is a very interesting deck. I don't know if I love it 100%. Because I feel like I would like a second Flame Geyser instead of Rewind. What's an ETC? Oh my gosh. Wait, this deck is like... One of the wildest decks I've ever seen in my life. It's a, it's the wild, wild west out there. Uh, let me think here. I can double coin out Cadgar next. Uh, could I triple coin him? No. I can double coin Cadgar out next turn. And it wouldn't be the worst call in the world. But let's see. How would I want to change this deck around? Because I actually think that this deck looks pretty interesting. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I want the audio amplifier. But then again, maybe the 11 mana is really, really good. I don't know. Only one Wisdom of Narganon is interesting as well. I would like another one of those. But I guess if you have Stargazer Luna. You know what? I'm going to try this person's deck. And if there's any cards that I don't actively like, I will probably get rid of them. But we'll see what happens. Um. Okay. That's fine. That's, you know, could be worse, I guess. 
What do I draw here? We got reverberation, so that's not bad. We're gonna go coin into coin into you. And hopefully they cannot destroy my weapon. So what do you do? Yeah, at the end of your turn, just cast a helpful mage spell. Okay, what are you what are you what are you gonna do? Ice barrier is not bad. They don't get to see what it was, right? I would assume they don't. Good night, Reuben. Good night, everybody who's going to bed. Hello to the people who are here. I'm sorry that the stream is late. I was streaming League of Legends and I accidentally forgot to record the last game, so it kind of ended on a bummer, but it is okay. They have several scrap heads. So the main issue with Rogue is the stealth mechanic, I think. And the uh, and the magnetic is, isn't even necessarily Wind Fury. It's the fact that you can have a very strong minion and then you can just <clears throat> give it stealth. And just very, very, very frustrating, at least in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm overreacting. We're gonna go stargazing. We get the Primordial Glyph, we will play it twice. And then, I don't know if I wanna coin anything out. Uh, it'll reduce the cost. Your deck has no minions. Spell, no, I think it's star power for three. And then another stargazing for two is kind of nuts, actually. Because that means I can do this, and then I get another Primordial Glyph, which will then allow me to do it multiple times again. Was that a waste? Maybe. I'll take another Reverberations. It could be a good removal. Hidden Objects for free? Or just freeze a minion and excavate? Freezing could be actually very important. I'm going to take, drumroll please, Hidden Objects. I want the secret. No, we're going to take the freeze, and then we'll kill this off. I will then pass. Please don't draw me a bunch of cards here. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. I like to see it. We like to see it. We like to see it. Miss the good old days were Deck of Lunacy Mage and Quest Mage. They were quite fun. I agree, but I think there was a little bit of too much randomness that was going on, and it felt like... It felt very repetitive, but in all the bad ways, right? Like, oh boy, they're gonna randomly generate something I don't know how to respond to. This is awesome. And it's just one of those things where it's like... Don't give it stealth, please. Fuck you! Get counterspelled! They're tilted. I'd be tilted. I would be Omega tilted right now, actually. I would be beyond tilted. Shiver me timbers. It could be reverb ping. This is okay, and I have three mana left. Reverb for one. This is mini. Freeze an enemy minion, gain a armor equal to its attack. How perplexing. The problem is, as much as I'd like to do that, I don't think that I reasonably can. Which is a bit annoying. Because I reverb it, but I would like to also kill it. Actually, you know what? I have ways of killing it regardless. How about we do just do this? How about we do just do this? We freeze this, we gain eight armor, so it's harder for them to kill me. And then I get a one one that'll do the exact same thing. And I'll probably I guess, freeze his face as well. So that way he can't kill the 8-1, or the 8-8 eight eight right away. Don't draw me cards! Please! That's not bad. Wait, is there a way to see what the helpful spells are? You play Dota 2? No, I don't. Win rate so far? The stream's been going on for six minutes. I'm an idiot. I forgot that they can just breakdance it. But you know what? It's okay. We gained 8 armor. I got an 8-8 eight eight myself, which will hopefully be kind of hard for him to deal with. You know what? It's fine. I mean, it's annoying, but I thought... Oh, God. We're not going to talk about it. You know what? At the end of the day, I messed up, but it's okay. It lives with five. I can kill it with star power. It's actually not that bad. This is honestly not that bad at all. I'm okay with it. Uh, Actually, what I do is I'm going to go... Seems like reverb. This hits that. And then ping. And then pass. I don't really care about this, but I've gained a lot of armor, so I don't think it's possible that they kill me. Frostbolt, it has to hit him, right? Okay, not bad. Honestly, very, very nice. So it says helpful. I guess that means it has to hit him whenever possible. Interesting. Okay. I'm okay with that. I probably should not have played the one three 
I'm trying to think what the benefit of playing the 1-3 was, and I guess in my head I, I just counted the mana wrong. This has been a very rough first game. All right, fine, gear shift, sure thing. You're using Shadow Step on a very interesting minion. This deck looks really weird though, the deck that you sent me. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how much of a fan of this deck I am. Like, I don't want to run Frostbolt. I don't think Frostbolt's very good at all. I don't really like Rewind. I would like two Stargazings. Wait. Oh my gosh, wait. Stargazing doesn't have to give me Primordial Glip. I'm trolling. This living is kind of big, actually. Um... Arcane Frost Shadow. I haven't played a fire spell, but that's okay. We'll do this. See what we get for three. Another reverb? I can reverb this actually. And then I have a really sticky minion. Do I want to play this? The answer is yes, I do. It'll kill everything, pretty much guaranteed. Because then it comes back alive, but that's okay, we have this. Gain more armor, draw a card, no big deal. This is fine, no Sif still, which is a little bit annoying. I don't know if I like this version of the deck better or worse than the one I'm looking at here. Better or worse, I don't know. I could put in the Elite Torn Champion, but I don't know if I'm gonna put in all the other things, I'm gonna be honest. I think I take out both of the frost bolts and I can replace it with a couple of different things, but I'll put in the elite torn because I do think that he's pretty fun. You know what? At the end of the day, he looks pretty sick. No, there goes my boy. The way Kedgar works uh, is that he analyzes the situation of the game and chooses choose three spells that he considers useful to, and he picks one of them at random. Oh, that is really interesting. I didn't know that. So he can kind of like tell if I have like a full hand and he knows to not overdraw me and he'll be like, oh, I'll just pick like this to give him armor or whatever. That's really cool actually. That's really cool. Why are you shadow stepping that? I feel like there are better things for you to do. Is someone there? Nope, nobody there. Khadgar is the IQ of a pure paladin. He whiffs so often. I mean, I didn't even know he worked like that. That is pretty cool. Are you active yet? You are not. Oh, you do four damage. That's not bad. Boom, boom. This does four damage and then we'll just play infinitize. Do I have lethal yet? Do I, can I get lethal somehow? Well, I have lethal next turn. Send me the list of the helpful spells. Oh shit, that's super sick. Polymorph, arcane missiles, mirror image, frostbolt, arcane intellect, fireball, flame strike, counterspell, ice barrier, blizzard. Interesting, those are all very, very good cards actually. Those are all incredible cards. Those are incredible. That's really good, actually. Wow, wait. This has to just be lethal, right? And then boom, boom, sick. I'll try the deck though. I'll put it in. Wait, this deck also runs Frostbolt, but why? I'll take out a card. For ETC. Nope, it's spelled out. It's elite. I'll put him in. 
This deck can actually gain a lot of armor. I don't know. I just don't. <sighs> Audio amplifier is kind of cool too with 11 mana. I don't know. I just don't really want to get rid of a lot of the other things. Just didn't feel very good to me. Celeste versus Gul'dan. Interesting. I don't think I want stargazing. I think I want to get rid of everything here. I think armor is maybe okay, but I want to try to find actual damage spells to get that out of the way as quickly as possible. I like the Sleet Skater, because that means I'm able to freeze one of his big minions and immediately gain armor, which is actually not that bad at all. That's pretty good. No, this is this is not a bad hand at all. Um, I just need to find something that's not arcane, shadow, or fire, or whatever. I'll take a fell. I don't really want either of the other two. I'll play a fell spell eventually when I get the chance. And the demon's getting plus one, plus two isn't bad. I'll ping that for two mana. No big deal. No biggie. No biggie. Start streaming at almost two in the morning. I apologize. It was not the intention, to be quite honest with you. Um, Sure. Because I like the secrets. Wait, are these the are these the only ones that I can discover? I'll play a mech. What else will I play? I'll play a mech. And an elemental. But I don't think that's good enough for him. Let's just go with secrets, I guess. I'm not looking forward to this. You will not come closer. I'll coin freeze the one that can attack. Then I can freeze again, that's 14 armor. And then we can get rush and we can just trade into a bunch of things. But we're gonna go coin. Freeze the one that can attack. And then we'll freeze the one that can attack again the following turn for one mana. And that's actually really, really, really good. Fracking? Sure. Okay. Not fully expected. What did he lose? Forge of Wills and Reverb. Okay. So he's basically looking for the wheel of... Holy fuck! You got rid of Sargeras? Oh, that is a disaster for you, my friend. Oh, that is not good. Luckily, I have two reverbs, so this actually isn't bad. We're gonna go boom. And then this goes here. And then I'm gonna ping this. And you're probably wondering why I'm playing like that. And it's because I wanna play this on the 15 15, because I assume he's gonna play the wheel. And then I assume after the wheel, he is going to then play. Oh my gosh, he's not gonna steal one of my mana crystals with the doomkin? That's interesting. Hopefully, I can kill off that two one then. Oh no. Uh oh. Out of a lot of damage. Kind of a lot of damage. Uh, you're not gonna do that. Okay. He's not gonna run into this. Freeze this. Play this. And then wow, finale that. I wanted to get a 15-15, but I have a reverb for a 15-15, so it's fine. Let's freeze the one that has rush instead of the one that has taunt. That's kind of cool. That's a lot of armor there. Two secrets, and then this is infinitized, which is really good. What did I get? Counter spell is huge. Bait and switch is not as big, but it's still fine. Mm, a freeze is good. I would like to just perma freeze his board if possible. And there's no reason to hit with a 3 4, so I'll just pass. Why do you only run one wisdom? Because you actually have a pretty full hand a lot of the time. So I just feel like wisdom, honestly, I was pretty down to take out another wisdom as well. It just felt really, really bad a lot of the time because my hand is almost always full. In fact, I was kind of tempted to take it out and put in, um, and put in, what's it called? An audio amplifier. Because then I could play Stargazing and also guaranteed get Primordial Glyph every time, which is, in my You're opinion, better than the thing anyway. All right, well, the counter spell didn't end up working out, but that's okay, it's not a big deal. Womp womp. Um, let's see, how do I wanna play around this now? How much damage do you do at this point? I've played a Shadow and a Fel, I haven't even played a Frost yet. So you would do what, three damage? So I can kill this, I can get it up to a DC, I guess. I've played a shadow. 
Uh, you do four. Which then means you go here. It doesn't really matter where they... Actually, yes it does. We go this here, we rock this, and then we kill that. And if he plays Wheel of Death, he already got rid of one of the things. How do I win the game, though? Because he's going to play a 15-15. I'm going to reverb it and then kill it, which is fine. All I need to do is last 15 turns. Like, that doesn't matter to me at all. I can push quite a bit of damage here, to be honest. Reverb and then ping it. And then two secrets to try to stall him out and hit here. Explosive runes and ice trap are actually both very good and he does take some fatigue damage. We have a little bit of damage in hand. All we gotta do is randomly generate burn. Because I don't know how he heals up all the way. He also got rid of Sargeras, so he doesn't have infinite generation. Zilliax would be a bit of a problem. Reno? Uh, that's pretty bad as well. Okay. Um... Fuck you, Wisdom. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. Reality. We'll play it twice. We get Frostbolt, Flame Geyser, Molten Rune. It's actually not bad. Let's see if I can get anything good. Um, Turn the Tides is nature and can give damage, so I will take it. They're taking some fatigue damage as well. I can almost set up lethal next turn, I believe, unless they get a bunch of healing. Which, I mean, obviously is possible, but you're kidding me. I don't care about minions on the board though, is the thing. And I don't really care about armor either. Wait, hold on. That 3-4's ass. Also, I think I just win the game, right? So that's 3, 6, 9. That's 13 damage. Plus 1 if we ping. That was useless. That was useless, but then we go boom into Flame Geyser twice, and we managed to win the game. Like I said, all you had to do was find some burn. It's not bad. I don't know how I feel about this deck yet, to be honest. I have mixed feelings about it. I don't. Even, I also don't really know where like the Elite Torn guy would come in. The ETC is unironically being used in the deck. No code. I mean, uh, I didn't know what code I was going to be using right about now, but now I know, so I'll send it. Celeste versus Illidan. Molten Rune is not necessary. I can take out one of those. I could take out one of those. That's true. The possibilities are endless. Um... I'm gonna get rid of everything here. I like Primordial Glyph, I really do, but I think there are better cards that I need to get to try to keep me alive. This is good. These are both fine if he builds a board, but the problem is I don't actually know if he's gonna build a board. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take out the one Molten Rune for Audio Amplifier, but then again, the other Molten Rune kind of just won me the game last game, so maybe I keep it. Uh-oh, it's Demon Hunter, yeah. I do have a lot of ways of gaining a lot of armor, so I do think there's a chance that I can just outvalue him eventually, and if I can get reverb, that would also be very good. But I don't know, the Elite Torrent Champion? I have mixed feelings about it. It's a cool, fun-ish card, but I just don't know if it's necessarily good enough. We'll trade first, see what we get. Discovery of Magic is good, but it's not quite good enough. I'm not gonna play it for nothing with zero setup. Hey, girl, love your videos. Hey, Chris, how's it going? I love your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. Ow. 
Oh, he has the weapon turn three, which means he gets to play the demon turn three. Great. Bad. Wait, hold on. This plus this is lifesteal. If I place this at the leftmost position, does it not just give me a bunch of lifesteal? Potentially? Is that not broken? Hold on. Could be insane. Could be absolutely nuts. Was made just, for me. just passing to say hi and freeze Demon Hunter makes him feel cold. Uh, like, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's play you and see if we find anything for cheap. Fuck off. No shot. I found nothing that I can actually play. Frost, Shadow, Fire. When I have a shadow in my hand. Ah. Uh, Fire's technically the hardest to get, and Fireball could just kill that next turn, but that sucks, man. I guess it's gotta be Ice Barrier to stay alive, because I can kill it with Reverb anyway. No, I'll just take Fireball so I can kill the minion. I'll ping it in case he pumps it up in some way, I don't know. I'm hoping he plays a really good minion that I can then reverb. Oh, fuck me. That's so awesome, actually. No, that's incredible. No, that's great, actually. What am I talking about? Let's gain some armor. Four armor's not really that much, but it'll have to do. Jeez Louise, fuck you. You got both? You got two of them? That's disgusting. Am I just dead next turn? I'm pretty sure I'm dead next turn. I don't think there's a way I can gain the farmer. I think it's just over. But you know what they say. Sometimes you just gotta believe in the heart of the motherfucking cards, bitch. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna heal to full, assuming the interaction works the way that I think it does. And then we're gonna be happy. We're going to, for once in our life, playing Hearthstone, be happy. Just let me be a happy game. Let the interaction work the way that I think it does, please. Next expansion has a new keyword, undormant. That'd be great. Uh, t -t 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 -t. This guy should start gambling with the luck he's having. I know. Oh my God. Okay, his board is about to get wiped and I'm really hoping that the combo works the way that I think it does. I'm really hoping that it works the way that I think it does. Please game. Uh, why would you do that? You've already attacked. It's a little bit weird. A little weird, dude. It's a little peculiar, I'll admit, but sure. Ow. Bitch, hopefully this works. Let's freaking go. That's so good. Oh my gosh, that feels amazing. Oh my god. Goodness gracious, that felt good. Woo! Okay. Oh, shit. Um, okay. So, this is fine. No, I'm fine with this. No, this is great. This is great. This is great. Great, 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 great. We want to find stargazing. Void scripture. Um, really any. Oh, no. I actually don't know if that's that big of a problem. Could I just reverb that and then force his thing to attack mine and we both heal? Actually, I don't think that really matters. Yeah, I don't think it really matters. It'll be okay. I mean, obviously it's a bit annoying, but I, I don't think it matters too much. Sif isn't really gonna do anything quite yet. What are you doing for zero mana? Oh, you're gonna give it rush. 
Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm, snake oil. Not really the card that I wanted. But it's not a bad card necessarily. If I reverb this. If I reverb that and then they both hit, like he's going to heal regardless. I could also reverb and then ping it. You know what? I'm going to trade first, see what happens. Fuck. Okay. Uh, Do that. Sure. Discovery. Sure. Love to see it. Um, Sure. I mean, I'll take a lot of damage, unfortunately. I don't want to reverb, is the thing. I'll just do that. It's whatever. Here's the other problem with this card. How am I supposed to activate it, man? This card is shit. <laughs> oh, no. That card's not very good at all. Maybe I take out something and I put in another Wisdom of Narganon. I don't know what I would take out though. Frostbolt's Go mediocre. Complete. Frostbolt's fine, I guess. Are you gonna kill my 6 5? With the. Maybe I do reverb the 6 5. It'll heal me back up anyway. What do I get rid of? I really like Flame Geyser because of how cheap it is. It looks like it's going to be probably Frostbolt. Because the other cards are too valuable, and I really do want a Wisdom. Yeah, this is already off to a great start. This is already off to a great start. Molten Rune. If I forge this and then play it... Fuck. Fuck! I mean, we get a four cost thing, Mabob, which I guess is fine. But that's not good at all. I'm gonna just take so much damage. I don't really have any more armor generation. This is not good. I'm starting to think the ETC card's kind of ass and I'm just gonna put Wisdom of Narcanon back in because this is not good. Uh, in the nicest way possible to the person who made the deck. I don't think it's, I just don't think it's very good. I would rather like in this situation in almost every situation, I think having Wisdom of Narcanon is just better. No? Reverb the 6-5. I feel like there's something better I might need to reverb, but maybe not. I just didn't feel like I needed the healing, to be honest. Draw three cards. Okay. Are you going to take damage this turn? We'll see what happens. I don't know, because I wanted to save a reverb for Sif, but I also don't think that's actually going to be that good. Five damage to the dome. What if I just freeze him? Boom plus boom is 10 damage. That's 15 damage. No, it's not enough. We'll kill those off. We'll freeze his face. We didn't have enough damage to win there. We'll just do that. It's not good value, but it's something. Uh, deal five damage for five damage or for five mana. Not very good. Reverb for two though could be decent. I guess I could have done. No, I didn't want to die there. It's fine. 
We're most likely just dead. I don't really know what I'm supposed to fucking do here, dude. To battle. Was not lethal. I didn't have enough mana to reverb, sif, and frostbolt. If I had had flame geyser or reduced cost frostbolt, maybe, but I just didn't. I froze his face, so I don't think I take any direct damage, but I also don't think that I win this game ever anymore. That's not lethal. What are you talking about? Toys are much more fun than rage. That is in no world lethal. I'm just sad I messed the game up, to be honest. I mean, I don't really care about winning or losing. It's been fucking fun. What the hell? Stealth doesn't matter. I just go creation. Okay, he's trying to limit the damage as much as possible here. Interesting. Oh, you're trading? Okay, I mean, this player is playing just as bad as I am, if not even worse. Uh, boom into boom, I guess. This could give me lethal. But if I play that, then I can't play this and this, and this is just a guaranteed board wipe, which I think is good. I really don't want to play Glyph right now. To battle. <laughs> wipe the board. I guess I should have played it. No, I'm trolling. I should have played it. I'm trolling. But no, I'm going to do this. Burn the cards at the bottom of my deck. I don't think it really matters. I'd like to summon a minion here. That sucks. But they're at the bottom of my deck, so it doesn't really matter. We lost a lot of burn, though. Do I die to some direct damage? Why didn't I just play this? Why didn't I just fucking play it? It's okay. It's not a big deal. We won, but I don't think I deserved to win that game. That game felt bad. That game felt... That game did not feel good necessarily. I think I'm gonna take out ETC. But then again, to be fair, to be fair, ETC's 12 extra damage did get him low enough to maybe kill him. But. I tried it. I wanted to like it. I really, really truthfully did. But I don't, I don't like it. I'm sorry. I'd rather have the draw and the consistency. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have won that. You need Amplifier? Amplifier's not bad. I've been thinking about Amplifier. If I do, I can take out the Molten Rune, possibly. Molten Rune for Amplifier could be good. Another Rogue. Okay. I do like Infinitize. Reducing the cost stuff is always nice. I think Stargazing's good, but I don't know if I want it in my opening hand, because if I end up getting the other card, it's kind of bad. But this is just really good. Interesting. Let's look at this. Looks perfect module. Okay. With the Zilliax. Elemental Inspiration. Haven't seen that one in a minute. Also, double Wisdom of Narganon is so bad. <laughs> if I have no spells. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so they're Excavate Rogue? Intriguing. Intrigue? Don't intriguing me. You're the one that's intriguing, my good sir. You're the one that's going fucking rogue. Who do you think you are? If I take another one of these, then... One of them is going to be a dead draw, so I guess I'll just go Soul Freeze because it'll be zero and I can play it whenever. 
Although maybe I should have gone with the one drop. So that way I could play the one drop and infinitize the next turn. No, that was bad. I should have taken the one drop. It was also a secret. Oh, what was I thinking? I raised you <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. I messed it up, but it's not the end of the world. We end up finding a one drop, which saves us, low key. I take a damage. I don't care because I would like to then do this so I don't discover a frost spell. You are very sick. You are incredibly good, actually. Oh my god. How much board wipe do I need versus damage? I'm going to say I would rather have removal so I can make it to the late game because the late game will probably end up, I will probably end up winning regardless. We're going to go stargazing into primordial glyph next turn and then the turn after that, it might just be lifebinder's gift on a lot of different cards, to be honest. Then again, we might save lifebinder's gift and just go infinitize or whatever we end up getting off of the what the heck you quick drew that. Oh, Okay, um, are you wishing well? Just want the ETC achievement, don't get tricked. Look, I don't think it's necessarily bad though. We're guaranteed this, we'll play it, we'll get two cards. Um, This just gets countered by a coin though. I'm gonna take a two mana fireball and then I'm just gonna do this. Was that bad? Possibly. But I don't know. I don't know what they're running. They could make me draw a card. I don't know. Just trying to empty my hand right now. So this will go down to two mana. I've some I've played Arcane and Frost. I can play Shadow and Fire in my hand right now, actually. Stargazing would also maybe be good. It would wipe the board entirely. We could also go nature plus reduce the cost and then play this and then we can draw a bunch of cards actually. No, that's just so good though. I could reduce the cost of so many other things, but I think this is more worth it. We're going to do that into this. And then we'll pass. We'll go this next turn. Hopefully get double Primordial Glyph. I don't know. I don't know what I'm... Ugh, he's going to play Wishing Well. I don't know. My main issue with this card is at five mana, it feels so slow. I wish this was a four mana card. At five mana, I mean, it's a lot of armor and it freezes. It's pretty good. And the One mini and is obviously and insane. And and uh oh. Is that a card you run? No, that's a card you got randomly. Okay. Oh, it's a chocolate! That's so cool! Wait, why do you have so many co- Oh my god, is it Draca? No way it's Draca! No fucking way you're gonna play Draca! Wait, what are you doing? What is happening? Your deck was about to be so cool! What the heck is this, man? Your deck was so close to being super cool. I'll take that for zero, might as well. And then I'll, I'll take this, I guess, because the other two are useless. Wait, you were this close to being nuts. What did you do? I mean, <sighs> counter spell, he plays the coin. Jane is gift. I mean, if it gives me like frost bowl, I'm pretty happy. Fireball's useless. This could give me damage later on in the game. Honestly, I'm pretty okay with that. Counterspell loses to that pretty hard. Wait, Frostbolt doesn't actually kill this. Uh, oof. Freeze their face. And then I guess draw some cards. I actually only need to draw cards one time. I can gain a lot of armor next turn, I guess. I played that out of order. I should have drawn first. Actually, no, I needed to play the spells first. I didn't actually play out of order that time. It's a miracle. Or at least not initially. What? I'm so lost. What is their da What are they doing? What is happening? <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four. And I have three mana left. Reality. Woven. 
to hopefully play something good. Oh no. That is not ideal at all, actually. Wait, I'm trolling. Oh! I'm not trolling. I might be the best player ever. Reality. Just gain a ton of armor here, and then we'll go Frostbolt and shoot his minion. I guess I can shoot his face, but I'd rather do that so he doesn't shadow step it or whatever. What are all of your coins for? What's hap what's about to happen? It has to be Draco, right? It has to be. Oh, I lost the 50-50. Oh no. Wait, is it actually Draco? Or are they gonna play Wishing Well? Like, obviously it could be Wishing Well, but I'm just so confused as to what's happening. Drac is not in the game anymore. Oh, you're true. You're right. I'm playing a bot. I don't think I'm playing a bot. I genuinely think this is somebody playing the game. Don't use your head. Uh, I can draw cards eventually. What do you give me? Counter spells? Useless. Intriguing. Also, bots don't emote. What is happening? I I I don't think recording this. I don't think this game matters. <laughs> Sure, okay. Oh, they want to play a lot of spells all in one turn. Uh, okay, so we're kind of doing that. That's, sure, okay, sure, okay, fine, doesn't matter. I don't care, I, I don't care. Part of me just wants to concede this game, to be honest with you. Because I don't think I really care too much about how this game ends up going. Because it's 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 not for content necessarily at this point. They'll overdraw a card, but I don't know if it matters. I don't really want to be overloaded. Generate me a card, baby. Sure thing, buddy. In the face, fireball. Ice barrier. Oh, you're trolling. What a whiff. I have too many cards. I'm so confused. I think I just concede. I think I just like genuinely just concede. Because I don't think this matters at all <laughs> to me. Oh goodness gracious, that is kind of a, a big thing. We drew Sif, I mean, maybe we'll just win the game then. Maybe we'll just win the game. How much damage is that? Three, three, so that's 10, 20. Is that not just lethal? Never mind, we'll just win. Dude, what the hell was this guy doing? What was this? That game was so boring. Well fought. <laughs> well fought. That was not even a fight. My guy, you got steamrolled. You played nothing the entire game. Friend. Honestly, build a better deck. Put in the Gaslight Gatekeeper or whatever it's called. Alright, so... Apparently, this is a very good card to keep. I'm not a huge fan of it because I do like trying to get it off of the other card. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I know I'm pointing him out on five immediately. 
I also can pretty quickly stack up the thingamabobs. Do I ever want to hit him in the face? No, we'll wait to see if he plays anything. There's no rush to play this yet. So we'll see if he plays like a 3-2. Doesn't play a 3-2. Excuse me. And then we'll do something after that. Let's go with that. Let's see what we get. I do like reverb. If he plays a big enough minion, a reverb's definitely good. I mean, this obviously is not a big enough board, but like, it's solid. Like... Sure, honestly, it's fine. Stargazing, not really that important right now. Kill it. Frostbolt the face. I don't really want to frostbolt either of these things. It's not actually a lot of damage, and I can deal with it in a little bit with the creation anyway. I want to coin this out on five, though. Uh oh. If I play this, the Wisdom of Narganon is pretty good. Do I want to just reverb that for card draw purposes, actually? I require more mana. That's gonna overdraw me. And I don't really want to overdraw. Well, actually, technically it doesn't overdraw me if I coin. I just can't play that. But I guess if I coin this, I don't technically have to overdraw, which is fine. And then I'll just play you to get out of my hand. Not a huge fan of it, but I can play this on five and then this on six. So it's not like the end of the world. Damn. Okay. I need a way of gaining armor and I need a way of gaining armor fast. But luckily, if they freeze me, it doesn't matter because um, this doesn't matter. Rune of Darkness is fine. Doesn't really do anything. Huh. Don't really want to use this. This is just kind of an awkward situation to be in right now. Much to ponder. It's like on the one hand, I'd like to gain as much armor as possible, but I also don't really want to play this because my hand is so full. That feels bad. I'm really starting to think maybe I take something out for the audio amplifier because I, I really think that the audio amplifier is so incredibly important. Because uh, my hand is full with this deck all the time because of resource generation and pretty good card draw it's just a little bit awkward just don't draw me cards sir and i would appreciate that very much so to the face that's also good that's actually very good thank you so much 16 hp my blood we can go like this into reverb and then gain as much armor as humanly possible, I guess. I'm hoping he plays a big minion that I can play this on as well. I don't want to play reverb though, because if I play reverb and he plays like the Primus, I would like to have a way of killing it off. All right, counter spell, sure. Then he kills it off with a uh, frost strike. Sure, 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 sure. He was trying to mind control you into conceding. I mean, maybe. <laughs> that would explain it. Boom, let's see what we get. Give me something good. Heat wave is not bad, actually. I don't hate it. Because it would allow me to play it again, but I'm gonna just take heat wave. And then I'm going to go Discovery of Magic and then Infinitize. Because I want to play Infinitize. This is fine. Ooh. I beam is maybe okay as well. It would heal and give me a little bit more armor. But I don't... Holy... It's good, but I think I'll take Fell instead. And then we'll go boom. And gain four more armor. Leaving the 2-1 up, sadly. Feels so bad, though. 
Mm, no, let's just do that. It kills off the 2-1. It gains me less total armor, but it's not that bad. Fireball to the face is pretty nice. I could have played Infinitize. I just don't think that it would have actually been very good in my opinion. We have another reverb if he ends up playing the Primus on turn eight, which is, I hope, what he wants to do. Army of the Dead's a little bit bad. Oh, you only have three corpses though. That's fine. Sure, I can heat wave and kill both of those off. It's really not that big of a deal, but I'm gonna play Void Scripture first. Uh, we'll draw two cards first, actually. Molten Rune and Frostbolt. So, I mean, like, if we can get Sif, we have a lot of damage. Like, that's not a problem. Blizzard? Seems fine. And then low-key, I want to Frostbolt his face anyway. Yeah, Blizzard. I want to Frostbolt his face anyway. And then forge this to get it ready. And then we'll do this. And then we won't overdraw unless this guy draws me cards, which would suck. But I don't think he will. I wouldn't assume that he would. I will happily take Ice Barrier to keep me alive. Stargazing is a little bit bad at this point in the game. Whereas this keeps me alive. I mean, stargazing isn't bad. Don't draw me cards, please. Yes! Huge. This Puzzle Master guy is kind of good, actually. Gets rid of that, it's fine. You're kind of broken. There it is! We're about to gain a bunch of fucking HP, though. That's what I'm telling you. God damn. Reverb it! Eat it! Eat the bitch! Then what, actually? Ah, I should have thought this through. I can freeze it first, actually, and gain more armor. As well. Freeze it! And then eat it! Just gain as much HP as possible! Ruin of Darkness! Not a huge fan of that, actually. Not gonna lie. Um, but sure. I'm at 10 cards in my hand. Oh, yikes. Uh, I guess I'll waste that and pass. Oh, it has to give me the keyboard. That's so cringe. Frost Bolt. It doesn't really matter what it hits. Yeah, because it comes back. It's, it's not a big deal. I did lose some damage, but like if I get Sif, I've got good damage anyway. It shouldn't matter too much. Take a good look. Seen a lot again. Yeah. I can just heat wave it though. Like this isn't that big of a deal. I assumed that that could be something that they do, but like I've got plenty of ways of actually dealing with that. I don't really care. It always gives you cosmic keyboard. I don't know why I thought it would offer me a demon hunter weapon, not demon hunter. Oh. Um, okay. Sure. Fine, I see it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm really hoping that you play... Oh God, uh... Uh... Blizzard? <laughs> sure. Heat wave, and then we'll go infinitize. Actually, we might just go armor here. No, oh, infinitize is too good. Infinitize is just value. Another heat wave? No, I'll do this though. Six mana deal six, seven a six mana card. Not bad. I think we've gotten to the stage in the game where I actually think that we just outvalue them. Another blizzard, that's pretty good. But I think we got into the stage in the game where we just outvalue them and then eventually we'll just play Sif and win the game. Like, it, I don't think it matters too much. Uh, I mean, it's not great, but it's fine. Really is not a big deal at all. Am 
Like, Sif plus this and that should just be lethal. I can freeze his face and excavate one. That's not a big deal. Uh, heal, draw a card's not bad at all. Primordial Glyph isn't great, though. I mean, this is decent, but, like, he can heal eventually. What fuck it? Oh! Okay, um... Sure, uh... Three is the two, three. I only gained two armor off of it, but it does empty out a hand space and it's not bad. Arcane missiles, bro. You choked on that last one, buddy. You choked. I'm trying to find Sif. I technically only have seven cards left in my deck, right? Because these two things aren't infinite and as soon as I draw them, it'll replace. Oh, yikes. And him healing back up to nearly full is a bit unfortunate, but whatever. I'll just play the uh, the the, uh, the mech this turn. Like that's fine. I don't really care too much about that. Do I find it? Oh no, not the damage. How much damage do you do? Six. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. And then infinite generation. You're pretty sick. I mean, honestly, it's not bad. I don't really have much else to play, to be honest. Just trying to find Sif. As soon as I find Sif, this plus this is just lethal, no? Actually, I haven't played that many spell schools. No, that plus that plus snake oil should be lethal. Where is Objection, Kadgar? He can't play Objection. There's a set list of things that they can generate, and it's not one of them, unfortunately. Arcane missiles maybe wasn't great, but it sure was helpful. It was still helpful. No, you're right. It was still helpful. You have a good point. No! I shouldn't have done that. Mm, nature's good, though. Nature's really good. I should have played this first. Um, for a holy or nature? I'll go holy. I should have done that first. Any rushers in the chat? Uh, my hand is full, so doing this doesn't really do anything, but we'll still do it. I lose the value on that, but it doesn't really matter too much at all. We gain armor. We're still waiting to actually get the damage to kill him. I didn't actually play the holy spell, which was kind of silly of me. Boom, boom, boom. Five, so it's six spell damage. That'll be six. That'll be 18. Plus eight. Plus six. Is that not still just lethal? 18 plus eight is 26. That's 32 damage. It should still just be lethal. Let's freeze his face here. We have nothing to actually use this on, which is crazy to me. Give me a minion, come on. Son of a bitch! It's okay. Uh, boom. <sighs> oh, it costs one. It's not good. Uh. 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 <laughs> Dude, I'm getting tilted. I'm getting tilted. I'm getting tilted, man. I can trade this and play infinitize. It's fine. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Reverb for two. Ah, uh, it's good. Like, it's not bad. It's just... It's a whole bunch of nothings happening right now, to be honest with you. A whole bunch of nothing is happening right now. To be honest. Um, 
which I'm not thrilled about, to be fair. But I'm just hoping he plays a minion, man. This is so, this is such an awkward game where like neither of us can do anything. This is my main problem with Sif Mage and decks that rely on just like one card, is that if you don't get that one card, you just kind of lose. Okay, you're very good though. Oh, you're very good though. All right, buddy. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's gain as much armor as possible. Gain as much as we possibly can, guys. <laughs> Eventually, we'll get something good. But for now, doesn't look like it. 38 armor is not bad. Just draw me fucking Sif. Where is she? I'm losing my mind. Uh. Hey, Greg, you tried out Highlander Druid at all. I know that overall Druid win rates have been bad, but I've been doing decently with it. I just think that it's not a very uh, like interesting deck. I don't think it's a bad deck by any means. I just don't think that it's like particularly interesting. I think people would really like to play. Fuck off. Oh my gosh. Look at me. Game. You're driving me fucking crazy. <laughs> oh. What the hell, man? Get nothing. I'm literally just trying to find something here. Please, please, please. I do like that. Being able to freeze his face could be good. I'll take it, whatever. Goodness gracious. Uh, wait, hold on. Could be good. Not even gonna lie, but. Cause he's just gonna freeze me every turn. Wait, if you've excavated, the next card you play this turn costs seven less. I've excavated two times. Never mind, let's just take that. Ugh, so gross. So gross. Such a lame situation to be in, man. Ugh. <laughs> I need to draw Snake Oil and Sif. I win the game in two turns as long, as long as, you know, I don't die. It's literally my last card and I'm losing my fucking mind right now. Oh my God, it is the last card. You're kidding me. Okay. Ah, why? Why would you do that, man? Why would you do this to me? All right, we can freeze one. What do you give me? Rush lifesteal's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh wait, it's kind of frozen, isn't it? Um. I can get the damage down a bit, but it's not going to be pretty. <sighs> Reverb. Kill it. He's left with 20 damage and I'm at 27. Double re- wait. I can reverb my own minion. No, we reverb- okay, so we reverb this. And then we reverb my own minion. And then we'll kill one. We actually go up 8 HP and kill the other two, too. Which is pretty gosh darn good. Okay. We just... Look. Game. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart here, Hearthstone. Why do you do this to me? Why do you enjoy my suffering? What on earth did I do to you that made you want me to lose the game so bad? But unluckily for you, I'm so good at this goddamn video game, I can survive all the way down to my literal last card to barely win this game. But my God, this has been miserable. Oh, he drew the head though, that's sick. This game 
was so infuriating. <laughs> But you know what? It doesn't fucking matter. We've got the damage. Oh my god. That was exhausting. That was exhausting! This deck is 5-0. This deck is 5 and 0. Oh. This season my win rate is 15 and 2. I am I'm playing really well. Actually I'm not. Celeste versus fine. Arthas. You will no end with torment. The possibilities are Oh, endless. that last game was exhausting. Please don't make Sif my last card again. I'm begging you. I'll keep both of these. Honestly, it's a it's a nice card to play. I don't actually think I want to play it until after I've played the Primordial Glyph, though. I think the Primordial Glyph is too good. Dredge, where are you? Dude, Sif being the bottom card of my deck was so, like... The game wanted me to lose my mind. The game was egging me on saying, do it. Do it. Lose your mind. But I kept my cool. I kept my composure stone-faced. Wait, is that... Is that, is that a thing? But I kept my cool, calm composure and I won the game, god damn it. Interesting. Part of me wants to take this, but the other part's just like play Flame Geyser and reduce the cost of, um, or reduce the number of options you can get from this as soon as you possibly can. Could have been a Molten Rune angle, but that's so late game that I don't think it really matters. I can frostbolt that and play a flame elemental and then I can play this soon. Like I don't even need to play it now necessarily. In fact, I guess it's frostbolt plus this. How much damage do I have actually if I get rid of all the like two flame geysers? Just got rid of a frostbolt, which might have been kind of troll, I don't know. What do you give me? Nature or holy? I mean, multiple snake oils could be kind of insane. And it basically gives me the same amount of stats as the plus two, plus three. And it gives me another snake oil salesman to play, which to be quite honest is pretty good. Like I don't hate it. And if I can play with Sif, like that's just a bunch of free damage. Like Sif's, they're already zero mana, almost fireballs. So many Death Knights in Standard. Uh, I, I've seen more Demon Hunters in Standard recently, but Death Knight's definitely up there. Death Knight's still very, very good. You were lucky the last Death Knight didn't play Helia. Dude, if that last Death Knight played Helia and Sif was literally my bottom card. Well, to be fair, it wouldn't have necessarily been my bottom card every time, right? Or to be fair, it would not have necessarily been my bottom card because it would have reshuffled my deck every time he put plagues into the deck. It literally would have helped me, actually. Would I rather play you right now for a three mana card? The answer is apparently yes. We're going to take this. Because it's damage and it's the one that casts right away. It does say cast at an enemy if able. Draw some cards. Uh, ping this off and play you, I guess. It's not a big deal. I mean, we definitely have the tools in our deck to stall this game out for a really, really long time. And with the snake oils, I can theoretically also draw pretty well. Like, I can cycle through my deck at the very least. That's okay, too. Has anyone asked if you like video games? That is honestly such a sick question. Not sick as in like twisted, but that's such an awesome question. Cause like, imagine if I did this, but at some point along the lines, I just stopped enjoying games. But I'm 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 locked in at this point. I'm fucked. Uh. I can trade one away. Hell, I can even trade two away. Do I want to freeze his face? Does it really adjust anything? I don't really think so.
The problem is I could top deck draw them now, which I don't really want, but I'm gonna play that. I'll do this, see if we can draw anything that's a little bit better. Now we have three snake oils in my deck and it's gonna feel really bad if I end up drawing them, but at least for the time being, I can, I, I changed it around. So it's not that bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Don't you reshuffle your deck when you trade? No, when you trade, it slots the card in. It doesn't shuffle it, but like say these fingers are my cards, instead of going It just, it slots it in like right here or right here or right here. There's no shuffling involved. If, if you trade it, you place it into the deck. What if I stopped enjoying them? I'm locked in. I'm fucked. Oh no. Uh, fuck. Well, we drew Sith actually, which makes me very sad that I got rid of all of the snake oils. Uh, boom to wipe the board, I guess. And then we'll do primordial glyph. Uh, a frost bolt is pretty nice. I should be able to win the game almost next turn. This plus this plus this. How much damage is that? One, two, three damage spells. Oh my god! Could you please stop, man? Could you please just stop? I'm gonna lose it! I'll freeze his face this next turn. He won't be able to hit me in the face. It'll stall out for a turn. Maybe we'll get the rock. I don't think I have lethal, right? Hold up, six. Okay, before I do anything, I want to see if I have lethal. So that's six. So that's nine. Eighteen. Not enough damage to win the game, unfortunately. So, let's freeze his face. Two coins is crazy. Does that win me the game, actually? Next turn, I play this, I reverb her, and then I go coin, coin, this, this. And then each one should do... So that's tw each one is fi that's 15 damage. So as long as they don't go above 30 HP, I'm pretty sure it's just lethal next turn. Right? Is that not is that not the case? Or maybe it's more damage to go this into this. So this into this is how much damage? That's 18. So it's nine, 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 nine. Hmm. Right, am I trolling? It has to be lethal here, right? Am I dumb? Reverb into double frost bolt is not lethal. It is lethal. So it's 18, it's nine plus nine plus nine. This is genuinely just more damage. That's just more damage. All right. I don't know why it took me so long to do the math on that. I knew my math wrong so often that I was like, am I doing it wrong? You sound German 999. Yeah, I, I got that. <laughs> Play like one more game. Please. And then I might have plans to... Play Uno Moss. Uno Gamo Moss. I can't believe so far with my Jax video, I'm five and one. Celeste versus no, not Demon Hunter, man. Come on. Endless. Everybody's playing Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter. I don't know if I don't like or if I like the Sleet Skate. Like, it gains me a lot of armor. It gains me a lot of armor. And I would rather play it sooner rather than later. The problem with the discovery of magic is it might discover me something that I already have. So I don't like actually playing it super duper early unless it's against an aggro deck and I want to actually try to find some sort of response. 
In this particular instance, I don't want to find a response. Also, this deck is 6-0 currently. It's kind of going crazy. I'm very surprised by the fact that it's doing as well as it is. Fell. No. Companion. Oh. I hate that that's my best option. I wanted to take the Fell spell, but destroying cards at the bottom of my deck could destroy Sif, and that would just, like, instantly lose me the game. So there's no real reason to do that. What product do you use in your hair? Um, currently, right now, zero. There is nothing in my hair currently. This is just naturally what it does. Uh, yeah, I, I not even like shampoo or conditioner because I didn't shower last night because I or I didn't like wash my hair because like hair health or whatever. I'm learning a lot from my fiance about that kind of stuff, but apparently hair health is you don't necessarily put stuff in there. I don't want to play this. I don't want to play this. And I don't want to play- we'll play this. Just give me something that- um, Shadow, no, Holy! With equality isn't bad. But would I rather just go Fell Fissure? And play it on turn four and just prevent him from playing cards. How? Because he hits- sexy. So what's gonna- no, we take equality. Because what's gonna happen is he hits. Then he plays a 6-5 for one, or for three, sorry. Then I equality ping it. Yeah, we equality ping it, and that's way better than being forced to reverb it. Because it gives me enough mana. I mean, we have nothing in my hair right now, is what I'm trying to say. It just does this. Is this really better Is this the best 30 cards for Sif Mage? Honestly, I have no idea. Also, what the fuck? You're just gonna go face? What is wrong with you? Hello? Interesting. Your spells cost one less is actually so good. I have only played this card one time. And the one card I got was a 4-4 four four that can't be targeted by stuff. I didn't even realize. I didn't even realize that you could get one that reduces the cost. That's nuts. That that's a bit problematic, but I'm going to play the sleep thing on it, and then hopefully they trade the 3-1 into the 4-2. They're going to play the 1-1, um, and it's it's fine. I mean, it's not great, but it'll we'll, we'll make do with what we have. Fine. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely didn't even know that was an option. <laughs> uh, let's freeze that and gain 6 armor. It's not bad. I assume... How many Magtheridons do you think he got here, chat? Do you think he got back-to-back -back Magtheridons or just one? My guess is he got one, because the last one I played against got two. So I, I think it would be unlikely that he got two this time. I mean, obviously, that's not how stats work, right? Like, everything is mutually exclusive from each other. Just because you flip a coin and you get three heads doesn't make it less likely you'll get another head. But Gambler's Fallacy is... I'm due, right? Or if I've if if I've won a couple of times, I need to get out while I can. That actually isn't even necessarily like a bad call. That's just that's just truth. That's just a true thing to say. All right, you're gonna play one drop, and then you're gonna hero power, and then you're gonna hit my face, and that's gonna it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt my soul, but it's okay. Watching you from Iran, and it's 4:45 in the morning. Well, as long as you're getting enough sleep, my friend. We're good. Ow. Oh, it's so much damage, man. It's not balanced. It's not balanced. It's not. It's simply not balanced. I hate this, but it's what I have to do. I hated that. I hated that above like all things. I think I lost. I think this is the first game that I lose. Oh, he had the glove on turn two. He played the other thing. He didn't even necessarily... Yeah. On the one.
everyone ends up just going insane, doesn't it? That sucks, man. We tried our best. Uh, could I have played equality a turn sooner? But why would I have done that? Like, there was no reason to play equality a turn sooner, is what I'm trying to say. God, that's so much damage. Oh, you're just gonna go full face? I mean, that sucks, but I don't know if that's actually good for you. Give me Primordial, please. Oh, we don't hit Primordial. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, we can play a fire spell and still play this, so that's fine, I guess. This will go off twice, which isn't the worst, but it's not very good either. We got another Arclane, Arclane, Arcane Artificer, which is pretty good. Both of those go there. We're able to stay alive for a bit. Hopefully he hits the one three. Do I play Khadgar next turn? The answer is yes, I would say. Just hit the, yeah. Oh, you have it in your hand currently. Okay, that's pretty good for me, I guess. No, I drew the other Primordial Glyph. This is useless. Oh, no, wait, we do have another Wisdom. And back to being useless. Um, do I just forge this? I think I just forge this. I could play a one, two. How likely am I to die here? I would say not super. I would say that there's a high likelihood that I don't die here. Hit his face. His face! No! Actually, it hits my five, two, so that's okay. I actually reconsider what I just said. It hits my five, two, so it's fine. Why are you four, man? How did, oh, because it was your leftmost card. Oh, that's not bad. Oh, that's pretty good, I would say, even. That's, no, that's that's great. No, that's good, solid, sick, awesome, dude. Perfect, that, mwah. That was a lot of words. I'm losing my mind right now. I don't know if you can tell. Don't worry, bro, we all hate Demon Hunter. I mean. All right. So. Oh, I'm gonna take so much damage. Luckily, hopefully the 5-2 lives. What are you doing? Red card, my, what, what do you mean? What do you think you are? All right, counter spell makes sense. Um, kill this off. We get two new cards. Holy shit. Blizzard, please. Ice barrier is fine. I forgot that if Counterspell activates, it can still be Ice Trap because Counterspell triggers when the cast is spelled. Nope, when the spell is cast. And the, oh my fucking God, if I lose this game because of that, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm, oh no. That was a disaster. No shot, I just threw. I mean, I didn't throw, but it definitely, could have been a lot better. Fuck. Oh, no. That's good, though. I think we're still fine. I think we, in the end, still outvalue him. We'll play like this, plus reverb, plus a bunch of other spells, and it's actually not that big of a deal. It really is not that big of a deal. He comes back to life, which is not that important. It's not like he has a rush or anything, but it's fine. I would like to just, to just gain a lot of HP if you don't mind. Um, rewind for zero mana is not bad. What do you give me? I 
I don't like doing that. I'm gonna draw cards and probably just flame geyser to kill some stuff off, to be honest. I'll freeze this and flame geyser this. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this because if this hits the, uh, eh, we still have to hit that. That's fine though. Not bad. We gained a ton of armor. Fireball is face, not as 1-1. One, one. Nah, whatever. I mean, we get to a certain point with this deck that we just get so much HP and armor that they can't win, right? Like with Sip, it doesn't matter. I get infinite, infinitize the maxitude, miracle salesman. There's no way I lose. Like this deck is unlosable. Current elo in league depends. Um, like my main or for my content channel? Because for content, it's like gold. Um, on my main, I'm diamond. Or I was diamond last season, but I haven't played on my main since then. I, I, I'm just playing for content at this point. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I'm um, sorry if this seems a little bit short and abrupt to end here. Uh, but I won literally every game with this deck. Stack went 7-0. My win rate so far this season is 17-2. I have won with most of the... I played Demon Hunter, I played... And Mage. And those two decks have absolutely slapped. They've been great. Um, now that I'm Diamond 5, I'm probably going to slow down a little bit. But again, a good win rate. I mean, it's April 2nd. I'm already Diamond 5. It's really, really good. I might try to find an actually good deck to play tomorrow. So that... Because, like, what I used to do is I used to play, like, shit decks. And be like, oh, look at me. I'm just playing a shit deck. But, like, because I'm climbing so fast, I'm kind of considering going, like, just Warlock or um, something else. I don't know. I'll figure out what I want to play tomorrow. But Rainbow Mage, honestly, very good. The reason why Rainbow Mage is good is because they have a lot of armor and control to deal with Demon Hunter and Death Knight. And then you also have an OTK that can deal with Warlock if they play Wheel Warlock. Like, oh, they're going to win in five turns, but also I've got an OTK. Would he run this in a tournament or is it too inconsistent? I mean, I don't know because other decks, if they run counter to it, right? Like if they run a bunch of other armor generations. I also don't know how this works in the mirror match because if both people get 20 plus armor, neither one can OTK each other. So it's just weird. Um, but I think that this deck is quite solid. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, have a good one.